Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry, my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views, and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Oh, little kitty, just like everything that glitters is not gold, Similarly, everything that shines in the sky ain't stars. In fact, these small dots you see are chunky space debris. Space debris? Yes, little kitty. Hey friends, it's unfortunate to say that after polluting natural resources like air, water and the soil on earth, humans have gone beyond the horizons and are even polluting the space and space debris is one of the results of our negligence. So, in today's episode, let us learn about this vital issue that we have overlooked for years and years and answer a universally challenged question. What is space debris? Zoom in! So, what is space debris? Space debris is the collection of useless man-made and natural objects that are zipping into the Earth's orbit like broken satellites, empty rockets, pieces of metal, meteoroids, comets and many more. In other words, they are just trash lying in space, which is getting bigger and bigger. But the vital question is, what is this trash all about and how did it accumulate into the vastness of space? Well, unfortunately, we don't have any control over the natural debris accumulating above the sky. But we do have a certain say over the man-made junk that has been amassing since the first human-made satellite Sputnik 1 escaped Earth's gravitational pull on October 4th, 1957. This junk includes the stages from rockets that jettison satellites into orbit and the satellites themselves once they die. Not only that, when an astronaut carries out a mission into space, they sometimes end up leaving their tools and equipment behind into space like nuts and bolts, garbage bags, a lens cap, screwdriver and even a spatula. Further, when this present debris collides with each other or the other floating space objects such as a satellite or spacecraft, they shatter into even smaller pieces increasing the level of waste into space. Now, you might be wondering if this debris is really hazardous. Well, space debris is generally harmless unless and until it collides into something else that is orbiting in space. Yes, tiny space debris can travel up to the speed of 17,500 miles per hour, which is equivalent to the energy of an SUV going up to the speed of 70 miles an hour and has the power to damage a satellite, spacecraft or any other objects that bump into them. But although we are aware of its consequences, then why are we not taking measures to solve this trashy problem? Well, fortunately, we have started to do our bit. A team of experienced space debris researchers based at Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne 
EPFL Research Institute has built a test satellite named Clean Space One for removing the debris already up there. Not only that, but scientists around the globe are also planning to develop the devices that could help to burn down the unused parts into space itself or to bring back the leftovers so that they could be used again. Trivia time! Did you know more than 500,000 pieces of space debris are tracked so far that are orbiting the Earth? Also, most of the debris burns up upon re-entry. But if it doesn't, don't worry. Your chances of getting hit by a falling piece of space waste are 10 million times smaller than the usual odds of being struck by lightning. Well, that's not comforting either way. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. <laughs>